طيب فبس عشان ما ناخذ وقت وقت الدسكشن ما يكون طويل الاشياء المهمه فقط طيب هذه التوبكس اللي اكثر من شخص يقول لي وش رايك وش يقرا وش هذا انا اشوف انها هذه في كفر يعني يمكن ار 4 يحتاجون يزيدون 1 ولا 2 مور توبكس اللي هي في السلامه اللي هي ميبي بوست ريفراكتيف كومبليكيشنز مثلا ولا الريفراكتيف سيرجري كلها اصلا ما تكلمت عنها والثانيه اللي هو براكت فيرسس هوست يعني از توبكس مور توبك تو ريد اباوت It's important to read about it. طيب. مين يبدا يتكلم؟ Okay. There is no view to the eye of 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 Okay. Okay. Previous attacks. Steroid use. Refractive surgery. Anything else? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yes. طيب خلينا نقول هذه الموست امبورتنت طيب انذر بيرسون بسرعه اي احد عبد العزيز ذيس از سيجنال فوتو شوينج نورمال تايبر وذ سيمس تو بي كتريتك فالتريت اون ذا كورنيا ميد بينيت اوكي اقول ما ادري انجكتد نشوف ال Mild injected eye with dendritic-like ulcer, no hypopian, clear cornea, otherwise, and iris looks fine, mid dilated, but looks fine. Any questions? I was asking about the patient has similar to the current attack. Yes. This is the first time. I was asking if the patient has any. In addition, طبعا to the what he said. Any oral ulcers, genital ulcers. ممتاز. There is a reduction of his corneal sensation. ممتاز. يعني هذه more of of examination than questions. Okay. Proper examination. This is there is AC reaction. This is there is any atrophy within the iris. جميل. Out check the fundus for any sign of infection. ممتاز. Anyone else? Jay? Okay. Uh, yes. Another point for you, for the relay. Okay. Another point, fill infiltrate نفسها. If you have something else that is suggesting what you're looking for, we can have more of that. However, I can. Do you see this? And then this. And then this. Multifocality. Which has injected eye multifocality. For the more is more of that. So now it does not look at least very clear. For a corneal edema. Not clear if there is a hypopene or not. Coronary edema and uh, mid-dilated pupil. Examination, uh, sorry, history of an installation more in a specific. Specific. Uh, also, previous attack, uh, trauma, alleged previous attack, and then the Okay, trauma by what? Okay. 
ممتاز ممتاز حد حد ترى انا اعرف اسماء معينين ناس معينين فهذا بس بساله عبد الله ما ما بقول لك انت عارف اسمك تفضل عبد الله خان ايه عبد الرحمن عفوا عفوا انا اسف اوكي ممتاز ممتاز اوكي جميل هستري ممتاز ممتاز Something specific you expect of this patient? Exaggerated pain. Yeah. I'm going to talk about microbial keratitis. How can you become any more supported pictures? So, let me just show you this. You describe, and then what do you want to ask in the history, and how would you manage? I'm not going to talk about the point. So, how would you manage? Okay, I will change. Management. Hey. We have to get the And chocolate agar. Chocolate. Uh, also have the nutrient. The nutrient is the extras. We have given blood, chocolate, and sebrod, dextrose, and thioglyphylate. These are the important ones. And the blood is usually two, not one. Okay. So start on a broad spectrum. Did not improve. Okay, did not improve. I'm good. Mara, twelve hours. There's no signs of improvement. Nothing yet. Huh? Okay, so you wait for a total of twenty-four hours, for example. Tired. Twenty-four hours. Did not improve. And still no results. When do you expect the results of of graft of the sorry culture? يعني إذا جت فعل فرشة هي تابعة هذا ممتازين صراحة. طيب. أتكلم عن طبعاً ال culture مو هو الستين. ستين مفروض إن ثيرتي ثيرتي مينتس إذا أنت واقف فوق رأسه ثيرتي مينتس شيء فاين. طيب. Nothing. After 24 hours, you'll do rescraping. طيب. You did rescraping. You'll do rescraping. Just rescraping. Will you do something else before? Will you hold antibiotics? طيب اللي يقول هولد انتبيتكس يفتح يرفع يده. لا عادي اللي يقول هولد انتبيتكس يرفع يده. اكزاكتلي. فا بوث ار كوركت. بيرسونالي اي ويدنت هولد ات لان اف ات واز افكتيف ولا ات ويل افكت الريزلت طيب ات ويد اف شو مي امبروفمنت بس ات ويدنت واي دونت فيل كومفورتبل اني اخلي مريض ويز سيفير انفكشن ويزاوت اني انتبيتكس ويزاوت برود سبكتر انتبيتكس. My personal opinion. في كثير ول disagree وفي ناس ول agree. طيب خلينا نمشي. Important notes. 
to ask about trauma, زي ما قلنا, when, how, and the material. Contact lens use, medication use, about the pain, about recurrent attacks, uh, history of refractive surgeries, other ocular surgeries, systemic immune status. طيب, ليش أكثر مرة تمدون يقول refractive surgery, refractive surgery? What do you expect if they can't refractive surgery? <تصفيق> طيب في شيء ثاني يحتاج طيب examination في A I O P red reflex corneal sensation blepharitis look for blepharitis uh, ال injection conjunctival injection type هل هو يعني uh, diffuse ولا uh, ciliary ولا what الابها uh, corneal opacity description طيب if you describe the corneal opacity correctly people will be impressed then uh, I rarely hear a consultation with with uh, with a perfect uh, description. Right? You you have to to comment on the location, the size, shape, color, margins, depth, edema, epithelial defects, focality, and blood blood vessels invasion. If you comment on all of these, the, you will describe it. the guy is smack. He's looking at it. Hello? AC reaction, whether there is hypopnea or not, iris atrophy, vitreous peripheral vasculitis, they might get a disease, but sure, you know, for viral and for the early signs of lymphomatosis. Type, they might get a gene, and to describe a culture and stain. But then, prospect of antibiotics should be started, and the care of monotherapy are combined. When do you start one therapy? When do you start combined? Uh, and personally, it depends on the infection. If it kind of looks like an aggressive infection, حتى لو كان small, I would start with with combined. أحسن uh, من يبدأ على monotherapy, then it progresses, then I will you know, I've wasted some time. Uh, but still, يعني في some people will will start. Uh, fluoroquinolone for any uh, peripheral infection, حتى لو كان يعني up to two millimeter, three millimeter size. طيب uh, الكومبينيشن يا ما تقول سيفا سفتا ولا بانكو سفتا ولا هذا ذا سفتا you can use it to provide some although I don't like it. Uh, you can start with a loading dose of fluoroquinolone. Um, uh, every five minutes you put a drop uh, for a total of half an hour then uh, until yeah, your, your uh, indication is prepared, especially for the uh, Admit, if they can, non-compliant, child, or the infection is bad, especially centrally. You do admission. And if you say admission from, from the, to begin with, it's not wrong. But actually, better to say it, not, not, not to leave a patient that, is, that needs an admission and you don't. And uh, the follow-up needs to be at least daily, if we can not admit it. Okay. If not improved, طبعاً ما هو after 24 hours, you will judge based on what you think. يعني uh, after 24 hours, أنا كنت أسأل يوشوي جين أساس تقول لي هل في worsening? And this is what's important. إذا شفت ما في worsening, this is the sign of improvement. Okay. فا so you'll check the cultures, you'll do re-scraping if that cat for 24 hours, 48 hours, was still nothing, he's worsening still. You'll re-scrape, yeah, man, like you stop the antibiotics, or you don't, this is debatable. And for uh, the second culture, add cultural flowers, white stain, acid fast stain, non nutrient agar with E. coli, and Lowenstein Jensen agar. Uh, if Still worsening, no growth. You do biopsy uh, for the pathology and the microbiology. Okay, that's still worsening. Do a therapeutic PKP and send the whole cornea, the, the, remo the removed cornea, to the uh, pathology and microbiology also. Okay. Hal fi steroid? Hal steroid? Based on SCAT study, there's no significant difference in, in clinical outcomes between steroid treated and non-treated. Arms. Relax war, uh, worse in the arm of nocardia ulcers. You go into a in of nocardia, you go, um, uh, it might lead to a worse outcome. Systemic antibiotics, 
كونسيدر ات اذا كان في بروفريشن كان في سكيلر انفولمنت اذا كانت نيسيريا اور هيموفيلس انسرز طيب فايرال تايبس اوف بريزنتيشن اوف فايرال بس عشان نسرع الموضوع بقول على طول The viral conjunctivitis, especially the primary infection, epithelial, either punctate, uh, dendritic, or geographic ulcer. Also, epithelial can be primary uh, infection. Stromal, either necrotizing or non necrotizing. Uh, keratitis. Uh, and last, endotheliitis. Iridocyclitis goes with uh, sometimes, some people will. will Put endotheliitis as part of the uveitis rather than the uh, infectious parts. Lihoa uveitis or endotheliitis. Varicella uh, zoster will 15% only of those with varicella zoster will have involvement of the fifth cranial nerve and should be differentiated between the herpes uh, simplex and varicella zoster uh, virus. هذا uh, جدول طبعا من Most of my lecture is from um, the American Academy. حاولت إني ما أجيب ال 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 information just from my from other resources. خليته من the American Academy قد ما أقدر. عشان يعني this is your uh, reference الأخير. هذا الجدول it's important to to memorize موجود في the American Academy. As viral keratitis or the rare, you can. يعني ممكن يجيك سي ام بي كريتايتس ممكن يجيك ابسن بار فايروس كريتايتس بس فيري رير و انلايكلي انه طبعا مستحيل يسوون الكلام طيب تو مانج يوز كريب فور كالتشر ستين اذا سسبيشس اوف بكتيريا كريتايتس زي ما قلنا الستينز نفسها يدو بي سي ار فور هربيتيك انفكشن انا ما ادري هنا في المستشفى في الحرس كيف البي سي ار هل عندنا ولا لا اللي هو ابيثيليال سيلز Uh, but I used to do it a lot, so uh, it's uh, helpful. The broad spectrum antibiotics either can be unclear here, uh, bacterial, will uh, necrotizing keratitis, or the better to start the uh, broad spectrum. It becomes a bacterial and you didn't start to anything. Uh, whether to start antiviral now will uh, will uh, after. Uh, culture, I would say herpes is more of a clinical uh, diagnosis rather than uh, culture based. Uh, either end up decreasing sensation, either end up history of recurrence with the blood vessels, the shape, or how you'll think of herpes, and you should start on the medication. Debridement uh, will be uh, any therapeutic. Uh, Psychoplegia if there is pain or AC reaction. The dose is highly high get herpes simplex. There is a resoster, is almost the double, especially when you're using the AC repair, you use 800 rather than the 400. Uh, in stromal keratitis and endothelial keratitis, they are a reactivation of the disease. So topical steroid lazim is them. Uh, plus the antiviral, I shall see if you trigger the epithelial attack with a primary attack. Uh, anti glucose is high, well, uh, the outcomes have a head study, and it should be memorized by everyone. Uh, I am again the fungal, look for strong by organic matter if the patient is on steroid, immunocompromised patients. Or non responding to the antibiotic treatment. Suspect that this might be fungal. Uh, if culture is positive, you will do deprivement because deprivement is therapeutic and it will help the medication to penetrate. Uh, you will start with natamycin 5% and amphotericin B uh, 0.015% every hour. If the infection is reaching the sclera or it's not responding, or perforate, almost perforating, you should have a low threshold for therapeutic PKP, lower than bacteria. Uh, now if it, if it perforates, well, if it goes systematically, uh, the outcomes will be way, way worse. I can tell you that. It's fine. Yes. 
How long should we make it? Remove the whole infection. Even if you do it limbus to limbus. You should not leave any of the infection remain. Uh technique had to some depends on how deep was it. If you're thinking it might have penetrated the saliva. If you think in the it might have went through, you might even do a fetrisin be uh, wash out for the AC or the lens or the shahari. Depends on that. But now, as it, you should cover the whole infection, you should remove it all. At the one that is the best. Okay. A cantamoeba is a late disease diagnosis uh, in a patient with poor contact lens hygiene. But always ask about the contact lens hygiene in, in a cantamoeba. So we can take contaminated water. Uh, radial keratoneuritis is uh, not always clear, but it has to be you know, looked for. Uh, remember a case with Dr. Majid, we noticed the radial keratoneuritis two months after. Remember, we treated the patient, we gave everything, we're still stuck. Uh, so when uh, confocal did not improve, did not show anything. So after the biopsy, we found out but then we went to the photos and found out that this is like keratoneuritis. If you're not looking for it, you're not seeing it. Um, <coughs> if the culture is positive, deprivement, it's therapeutic and uh, help in the medication penetration, start of a combination of uh, biconide and diamidine, proline and chlorhexidine. Uh, use of steroids is controversial. Uh, because at, at, it depends on the uh, time you're going to start it. Better to, uh, to to avoid it in general, not to mention to the amoeba. But there are some uses that need uh, steroid, and yeah, times that need steroid. Will that survive? Yeah. Uh, better response expected if the infection is early. If the kind of epithelial or lateral trauma, you expect a better uh, response. Okay. خلصنا الحين بكتيريال او عفوا كوريا السرز ليتس جو تو ذا نيكست وشو هذا مين يبي يتكلم؟ بس فاضل يعني كنت اميبا ذا ميديكيشن اولويز اي ريمبر ذيم لايك اي بي سي دي اوكي اي از امايوبلايكوسايد بي از بيج ون اي سي از كوركسيدين دي از دايمدين ذس ذا هاو يو ريمبر صح ما في يوزولي يو سيلكت بيتوين ذا ميدل تو ذا بي ان سي سي ان دي بي ان سي طيب مين بي احد If you want to ask questions, any of your questions in mind, you want to ask. Uh, so, is there a history of what is the chief complaint? Is it uh, that of the bilateral? Okay. Um, and as a patient, uh, is it taken up or not? And, yes. Uh, does he have a case of vision from phobia uh, uh, pain? Does the patient come to have any medical conditions like rheumatoid arthritis? Yes. Uh, Just the chemical and the And the ocular surgery. Okay. Let's see if we can cover the most of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk about the of the cornea. This is the way uh, American Academy described this entity, all of it. Methaxin, a cogan, a syphilitic, a systemic autoimmune PUK, will, will modern answer. So, we'll talk about briefly. Methaxin, the presentation, is to be 
photophobia, redness, blurring, vision, tearing, pain, burning, and foreign body sensation. For uh, examination, you have stellate, gray, elevated, or flat lesions over the central interperfibral area. Uh, minimal or non edema is expected. Uh, the pathophysiology is not known, but both viral and immunologic uh, mechanisms have been um, implicated. Treatment, lubrication re relieves the symptoms. Steroid, highly effective, tapered over a long period, highly effective in treating both the symptoms and the clinical picture. Sacrospore uh, and tacrolimus, not proven, but it could be effective in the treatment of sites. Hogan syndrome, they present with vision loss, hearing loss, headache, arthralgia, fever, arthritis, and myalgia. It's main and most important things to keep in mind, vision loss, hearing loss, uh, hearing loss. those two, always keep in mind Hogan. Uh, also, uh, pathology is unknown. Infectious triggers like upper respiratory tract infection, diarrhea, dental infection, immunization is suspected. Uh, it is antibodies that targeting, I don't know, targeting corneal and inner uh, ear antigens. Diagnosis is diagnosis of exclusion. Uh, you have to rule out syphilis, herpes, chlamydia, TB, rubella, mumps, Lyme, uh, and parasitic teratology, all the causes of stromal keratitis. Uh, treatment is not by us only, it's by ophthalmologist, internist, and ENT. Uh, so, uh, the interstitial keratitis are treated with topical steroid and cyclopegia. Systemic steroids and uh, demands, the methotrexates or others, uh, are used when there is hearing loss or the, uh, there is posterior ocular involvement. Now, uh, hearing loss will be permanent if not treated well. Uh, syphilitic interstitial keratitis, it's Mostly, you will see it in the congenital type of syphilis rather than the uh, acquired. So, bilateral for congenital type, 60% is unilateral for acquired. Uh, for acquired, mainly you see uveitis rather than uh, interstitial keratitis. <coughs> the uh, signs to differentiate you is this syphilitic uh, congenital or not, and he not uh, incisors and uh, mulberry molars, sadder nose, deafness. Uh, regate and uh, uh, cognitive impairment. Uh, signs receive a sector of stromal inflammation KPs. Uh, it invites deep stromal vascularization and leading to central corneal edema and pacification. You manage it for every unusual interstitial keratitis, you have to rule out a list of legal uh, Oh, often you have to rule out syphilis, check it out. Okay, any interstitial keratitis by doing. Uh, RPR or FTA APS. Uh, start with uh, give topical steroid and cyclopegia to suppress the disease uh, effectively. Uh, in the case of systemic syphilis, especially in newer syphilis, how do you, you should give penicillin or the management should be by the internist and uh, infectious disease. Systemic autoimmune disease is associated with peripheral ulcerative keratitis. It's an immunomediated, vasoocclusive disease, often associated with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, can be seen with Wegener, uh, SLE, polar arthritis doza, ulcerative colitis, relapsing polychondritis, or other immune, uh, immune inflammatory diseases like rosacea. Uh, it can be bilateral and extensive, but usually it is unilateral and limited to one sector of the cornea. Uh, it starts with ulceration within two millimeter of the limbus, with the absence or patchy epithelium, and stromal melt often noted. You manage by biopsy of the conjunctiva, although not done routinely. But if you do it, you will see uh, uh, signs of immune uh, mediated vasoocclusion. But we rarely do it. Uh, our goals is to improve the wetting and promote epithelialization by lubrication, patching, contact lenses. If Depending on the situation, uh, then stop the melt and stop the melting by promoting. We promoted the pathization. Now collagen in, uh, collagenase inhibitors like the uh, Provera and uh, tetracycline, like uh, uh, doxycycline, uh, sup suppress the systemic inflammation by oral steroid or cyclophosphamide, methotrexate, systemic cyclosporin, 
we have to consult rheumatology for this to have uh, a better control of it. Worsening of the of the PUK is a sign that the, con the main control, the main disease, the rheumatology, uh, rheumatoid arthritis or whatever the, the disease is not well controlled. If it was well controlled, the eye should be suppressed. Uh, topical steroid can be used and can be beneficial for suppressing inflammation locally, but you should use it with caution, especially in severely thin uh, melted cornea. A conjunctival recession often heals the ulcer. It's a temporary measure, and in, in difficult cases that you cannot do much, you can resist the cornea, uh, resist the conjunctiva, and it will help by removing the uh, uh, inducers of the disease, or at least putting it away making, makes the blood vessels really, uh, bring in these medication, uh, these uh, anti antibodies and uh, or this inflammation would reduce and it will heal the uh, or improve the process faster. Uh, last, I would further question. When? Uh, in PUK, in PUK, we're talking about uh, immune, uh, sorry, autoimmune related prophylaxis. Marata, I know there is another entity, like whose main entity, autoimmune disease. But we consulted rheumatology if we had a halat. We have to involve them in, in the treatment. Most of the patients of PUK will need immunomodulatory. I can tell them to local. Well, immunomodulatory, it has to be done, otherwise the local will never heal. If, if the disease is, is active, we can do temporary measures, we can do things, but it will recur if it's not completely treated. More an ulcer, it's a progressive, precentric, peripheral corneal ulceration. Begins nasally or temporarily, and progressive circumferentially. Two types either unilateral in older population with a slower progression or a bilateral in younger population uh, with more rapid progression and more painful. Uh, it's an idiopathic. It has been associated with hepsi, uh, but not diagnostic. Uh, diagnosis is diagnosis of exclusion. Treatment, you start with, with a topical steroid plus cycloplegia plus antibiotics prophylaxis uh, plus doxycycline for the melting plus topical cyclosporin. Consider the systemic immunomodulatory, immunomodulatory therapy, especially in patients that are not responding, uh, plus and minus conjunctival resection, resection, plus and minus AMT, plus and minus tissue removal, necrotic tissue removal, plus and minus lamellar cataplasty if there is severe therapy. In cases of perforation, tissue adhesive, especially in the active form, might be better than do going directly for tectonic, unless you cannot do it, then go ahead and do the tutoring uh, directly. Go back. Okay. Uh, yes. Nujan, would you please tell us what's your differential here when you see this one? What's in your mind? Any, uh... So what's your differential? Okay. okay. So what's in your mind if you see uh, this one? What's in your mind? Tell me what's in your mind. There's a pen in here. Okay, so what's in your mind? So um, what's your walking diagnosis? I'm going to screen for a uh, plus and So if, if you see like this one, be organized. If you say haphazardly, I will do anka, see anka, be anka, it will not be organized. So you think, is it infectious or non infectious? This is the first question you ask yourself for, and this is your work in BUK is, your, is an entity. It's not a diagnosis, right? So ask yourself, is it infectious or non infectious? Then 
if it's infectious, is it local or systemic? If it's non-infectious, is it local or systemic? In this way, you will never miss any differential diagnoses here. So if we think about infectious, so infectious, local, maybe herpes, maybe bacteria, maybe fungal, maybe we can think, we'll think in this direction. If it's infectious systemic, we think about mesiria and all of that entity that causes corneal milk. Non-infectious, we'll think about local, as Dr. Amar mentioned, moran, maybe uh, terrin or uh, other thinning uh, entities. Or systemic, you'll think about BUK-related rheumatoid arthritis and something like that. Back to your question, how when you will start the systemic medication, if it's the cause is systemic, you need a systemic medication. This is for example. If the cause is ocular and not responding to your management, you need a systemic medication. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is this? Very right. Okay. So, I know what are we seeing. Comment. On test. Like, I just had a note. So, the next entity is the VKC. VKC and rotation. Okay, my name is Shiva. So, no, this is the way I'm thinking, and I have to already look at them. As on it, but as we have new mediated conjunctive itis, maybe. Okay. Starts with VKC. VKC is a seasonal recurring bilateral inflammation of cornea and conjunctive of male children with history of family history of it. Okay. It's a type one and type four hypersensitivity. Inflammatory infiltrates consists of eosinophils, lymphocytes. Plasma cells and monocytes. The forms either pulpiparal, limbal, or mixed. Uh, limbal more on, male, uh, more on uh, Asians and Africans. Uh, Panis often developed uh, superiorly, but cornea neovascularization 360 uh, associated yeah, associated with and stem cell deficiency. You manage depends on severity. In mild cases, antihistamine plus massive sterilizer plus co uh, cooler environment, air purifier, uh, increased humidity, other shea will help. Uh, should be started two weeks before the season. If you know that this season is starting by April, you should start two weeks before that. Uh, some, pa some patients have a year round cases, so it could be given on long term doses for, uh, for the whole year. Uh, in exacerbations, let me see if you while on this or even off, there is an exacerbation, you can start them on FML with high doses, Q2 to Q4 to have a rapid effect, uh, then taper uh, rapidly while keeping the patient on other, uh, like antihistamine or stabilizer, to keep the eye from uh, having uh, a reaction. Uh, in severe cases, topical steroid for acute exacerbations plus topical cyclosporin or tacrolimus uh, can be helpful in controlling the disease, especially long, on a longer periods. Uh, always check the IP. Patients with VKC always come with over-the-counter uh, steroid use. Uh, always check the IP and check the copy. Uh, in AKC, third of atopic dermatitis have AKC. Uh, it's a type 4 hypersensitivity. Uh, you differentiate it from the VKC because they are older patients, year round disease, small to medium sized papillaries, uh, upper and lower perpetual conjunctival involvement, uh, milky conjunctival edema and subepithelial fibrosis, extensive corneal vascularization, conjunctival scarring and simpliferon might form in, in AKC. Uh, anterior and posterior subcapsule with lens opacity, you might see it in AKC. Punctate erosions and uh, persistent epithelial defects in coronary ectasia can happen. Uh, they have higher incidence of staphylococcal and herpetic infections due to the reduced systemic cell mediated immunity in general and atrophy. 
تريتمنت مال كيسز كولد كومبرس افويد الرجنز توبيكال انتي هيستامين اند ستيرويدز ان سيفير كيسز يوز سيستميك اميون سبريشن يو نيد تو كونسلت انترنست وذ اورال ستيرويد اور سايكلوسبور توبيكال سايكلوسبور تاكلوس اولسو كان بي بينيفيشال اند مونيتور فور سيكندري انفكشنز اند تريت اكوردنجلي because sometimes they develop, as I said, uh, they have reduced semi-diac uh, immunity, they might develop herpes or semi more than others. Rosacea. Rosacea is, a, uh, is a, an entity that, as ophthalmologist, maybe anterior segment look for it a lot, but uh, other specialties might uh, ignore it uh, in a lot of times, and we, we're not even looking at it. It's a chronic acne form uh, disorder, Related to overexpression of catholicidin antimicrobial peptides. Uh, associated with cutaneous sebaceous gland dysfunction on the face, neck, and shoulders. More common in fair skinned middle aged females. Uh, fa facial legions, legions would be tringectasia, recurrent papules and pustules, malar rash and erythema, uh, and rhinophyma. Uh, ocular legions. Chronic blepharitis, recurrent chalazion, uh, chronic conjunctivitis, marginal corneal infiltrates, and corneal revascularization. In management, ocular and systemic disease can be managed simultaneously by systemic tetracyclines, like doxycyclines. Uh, facial erythema can be treated with applying metronidazole gel and uh, azelic acid gel. Infectious causes. Uh, has to be ruled out before initiating topical steroid and sterile infiltrates because you know, with rosacea you must have either sterile infiltrates or uh, uh, other immune uh, uh, infiltrates to rule out the infectious causes first. Uh, in advanced cases of scarring and neuroscalization, conservative treatment is recommended as PKP is very high risk. Uh, light pulse may help with the eyelid erythema, uh, the, 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 the one with the malar rash. Uh, what else? Uh, in, in, in severe cases of rosacea, some would, were more of uh, recommending uh, Boston Cape rather than, than PKP because of high risk of failure of PKP. I was total. And the final is the. What what is shield ulcer? Mm -hmm. So define shield ulcer, please. So if we go something we cannot define, remember we have an issue. Define shield that's a piece. We don't know what shield that's a, so it's not, this is the meaning of the definition. This type of cancer, even if there's a limitation, the superior point of the island against the cardinal surface. Leading to a disturbance of the sulfation uh, corneal layers, which result in uh, scarring. All is time. All deposit, right? Either the scarring and corneal Good. And what's the main pathology, pathophysiology here? What's the, or let's say, what's the etiology? So we can. We can. Exactly. So, uh, in BKC patient fantasy, what things you should rule out? Patient come to you, is as mild pathology. What things you should rule out? How we will rule out the toxicologies? So let's say we have a 15 year old boy with BKC. How we will rule out the Always you jump to, we are in the clinic, we don't have topography machine, so you cannot 
pour la vodka, alors tu peux relancer une date des jeux. You can use it, you must use it actually, not you can. This is not an option, please. We are clinicians, we are not technicians. Always we mention that. We have a powerful tool. Look at the scissoring. This is the earliest sign of theraticoids, right? So why are you jump to the bottom? We are clinicians. So if you have like, uh, what, what's the sign that you look at in uh, retinoscopy? Okay, and in uh, topography, what's the sign you look at? Vision 2020. So, vision is a 2020. What's the earliest sign that will be of the keratoconus that will be shown in the topography? Posterior elevation. Posterior elevation. Good. So, if you have a patient with posterior elevation change, vision the 2020, 15 year old boy, what do you will do? First time to you. First time. You will leave him going out. You don't do it. He's a boy. نرجع نسلك اللي صار هذا لما نروح للكروتوكولس في انتيتي لا لا بس this is very important in BQC actually this is a paper that I published ah. actually so and it's not only my paper this is what we should do so you should do for sleep this patient they will keep up they will keep up 15 year old they will progress I swear that they will progress so any child with keratoconus please cross link him don't wait for progression. What's the mechanism of probing that you start calling or that you see the progression? What's the mechanism that it is your Okay. How mechanical rubbing goes? So we rub our skin. We don't have pain. Anybody knows say it's misbalance between proteinetic versus protein energy synthesis. So when I drop the economy, this will cause shielding that layers when the protocol of the metric tries to reduce more of that the organization of the economy again, more thinning, more do you know what's the specific site if I ask you single one, this is the back. So, okay. so the other guy tried. He wants to get back to the key one. Right. He's in the review key one. So this one, this one is the cause. So we have all the expression of the interview key one. And this one will reduce the drug codes of the thinning and the misbalance between the, uh, what you mentioned, the uh, synthesis and the uh, and the last point regarding the atopy, atopy very important point. This is one of the differential diagnoses of you. You have bilateral herpetic keratitis. Think about atopy. This is one of the important differentials. Atopy patients, if they develop herpes, they may have had it bilateral. So I don't know. Let's, let's have Arwa here, please. Okay. Yes, you, what do you want to ask?
m0 time. Yeah. What's the most important question? What do we have? This is important. This is an important question you should ask. What's in your mind? So, is it, is it some C? I can't ما ما تقدر تقولين سيلف سيل هي هذه 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 What's in your mind? You, your mind is to close this one, right? This is, so what's the question you should ask? Yes, yes, this is an important. Okay. طيب anything else you want to examine further? Okay. Excellent. What might be a? Avoid any pressure on the eye or any extensive. Actually, if the exam is difficult, don't dig for an exam, actually. Yeah. You will collapse it more, you will need to die more, just, you know, things to be organized. So that, more of the time, you can do it with DUA, actually. Talk about the traumatic injuries, all of them, or most of them. Starting with subconjunctival hemorrhage, it's blood and the conjunctiva, dramatic appearance for, uh, for the patient, although for us, it's not. Uh, if there is history of trauma or rule out damage to other structures, Uh, usually, not uh, usually not associated with systemic diseases, but if recurrent or bleeding diathesis, uh, careful evaluation is, is warranted. Uh, no treatment required, usually resolved within 7 to 12 days. Uh, yeah. Best uh, keep in mind hypertension and other things, I mean, uh, if it's, especially if it's recurrent. Uh, traumatic hiatus, they will present with photophobia, tearing, blurring of vision, pain uh, after a blunt. Trauma to the eye, uh, often associated with midriasis uh, because of the iris sphincter tear uh, and or meiosis. Uh, it can uh, <coughs> can also have IU dialysis or cyclic dialysis. Management is by cycloplegia and topical steroids for the traumatic iritis and whatever there is else, uh, you can treat it accordingly. Traumatic hyphema, it's uh, with the displacement of the lens iris posteriorly. And clear expansion uh, at the equator, it leads to injury of the peripheral iris and anterior ciliary body. Uh, there is a, a rebleeding that is expected within three to seven days. Uh, it's a it's a bad prognostic sign, and 50% of those will have high IP. Uh, prognosis depends on complications like glaucoma, optic atrophy, or corneal blood staining. The goal of the therapy is to minimize the possibility of re-bleeding. Uh, we give protective shields, restrictive, restricted physical activity, uh, head elevation in bed, and atropine to uh, prevent it. Uh, 
We manage it by corticosteroid to control the ACE inflammation. Uh, manage higher periodically by uh, topical beta blocker or alpha agonist. Rule out sickle cell. Uh, so you, you don't induce a sickling attack. Uh, surgical intervention if uh, to, to prevent the optic atrophy, if the IOP is more than 60 or for two days, or the IOP more than 35 for over seven days. To prevent the cornea staining, if the IOP more than 25 for five days, or there is evidence of uh, early staining. Uh, to prevent the peripheral anterior synechia, if there is total hyphema for, uh, for five days, or the hyphema is more than 50% even after five, eight days from the uh, trauma. In sickle cell, if the IOP is more than 24 uh, for uh, 24 hours, or the, there is an attack, uh, episode of elevation attacks uh, more than 30. So, in the American Academy. Uh, open globe injuries. First thing you have to, to look for is uh, to confirm is ruling out life threatening injuries. Uh, mechanism of injury is important to anticipate the amount of damage. Uh, VA, as you said, the most reliable predictive predictor of the final vision. Uh, you can assess the function. If you cannot take a VA, you can assess the function of the uh, optic nerve by reverse marking gun, mark scan uh, response. Uh, UK, in more, uh, some cases, you need to do CT to look for intraocular foreign body. Uh, MRI is better in organic material. That's why it's important to know or to ask about what type of trauma if you're suspecting intraocular foreign body. But if there is even a little suspicion of material, of, uh, metal material, avoid the MRI. Uh, always assess injury well and plan ahead as long as it does not affect the injury itself. So if, if it's open and there is no nothing Protective, you cannot do full examination, stop, examine under, uh, under sedation. Okay. To manage, you will give a clear shield, patient, keep the patient in PO, IV antibiotics, tetanus prophylaxis, anesthesia. Consultation. Uh, the primary goal of the surgeon is to restore the integrity of the globe. Uh, second goal is to uh, improve the vision. So the repairs are uh, I start with the limbus by a 10 on island, then the cornea, 10 on island, then the sclera with 9 on island. Nine. Wider space, longer sutures in the peripheral and the peripheral cornea with shorter and uh, tight close, uh, shorter and closer sutures in the center while avoiding the uh, visual axis if possible. Uh, glue and lamellar keratoplasty, an extremely difficult wound that. You cannot, even with multiple sutures, you, you cannot make it watertight. So you might use glue over it or uh, a layer of lamellar keratoplasty. Uh, vitreous and lens material in the way should be cut and removed. Okay. Uh, UVL tissue should be placed back in position as long as they are viable. If they are necrotized, remove uh, the necrotized part. A uh, decision of further intraocular intervention to be done, whether lens removal, iris repair, PPV, should be done in the same settings. Depending on the experience of the, of the surgeon, the visibility of the surgery, and uh, consent taken. Okay, so um, if a patient, if, a, if, a, if, if I'm an anterior segment, I'm doing open globe and the patient needs PPV, of course I'll not do it. Uh, if the visibility, if I was expecting to remove the lens because it's open, okay, I will remove as much as I can, but if there's, the visibility is poor and there is no way that I can proceed without causing more harm, I'd rather stop now and do it after a bit, at a better uh, time rather than doing it and cause more harm. Why it's important to as Dr. Omar nicely mentioned, if there is a sickle cell or no sickle cell in the patient with a high What is right? Okay. 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 Okay.
So why it's important to differentiate between why we should look at second certain body or patient Next, uh, I'll talk about the dry eyes. Dry eye is a dry eye disease is a disturbance of the lacrimal function unit, which is a lacrimal gland, ocular surface, eyelids, and nerves. Uh, it's a very common, 10% in 30 to 60 years, and 15% more than 65 years. Uh, can separate them into aqueous tear deficiency, which is a T cell mediated inflammation uh, of the lacrimal gland and evaporative dry eye, which is a uh, mean gland dysfunction. Uh, as you can see, this is how you uh, differentiate them. Uh, diagnosis in the acosteal deficiency, it will help you if you do the stair test. If it's less than eight seconds, it's abnormal. And uh, tear meniscus, if it's less than 0.3 millimeter, it is abnormal. The evaporative dry eye, uh, you will find that the tear breakup time is less than 10 seconds, and there is a bit of tendectasia over the posterior eyelid, uh, eyelid margin, uh, which is a sign of. Uh, to manage, first rule out other contributing diseases and medications like autoimmune, uh, many other diseases, or medications uh, such as uh, causing uh, dry eye symptoms. Uh, often, uh, both types exist because the defici uh, deficiency plus evaporative plus other uh, contributing factors of disease. So, in the acute uh, aqueous tear deficiency, managed by uh, uh, management is depending on the severity. The mainstay of treatment is topical tear substitutes. 
uh, topical cyclosporin for moderate uh, with topical steroid at, in, uh, at uh, initiation. Uh, in more severe cases, autologous serum eye drops can be used. Uh, punctal plugs or thermal punctal occlusion is helpful in, in, uh, in aqueous tear deficiency to reduce the amount of tear that is absorbed. And this is uh, the mild, moderate, severe uh, way of looking at how to manage uh, aqueous tear deficiency. In evaporative uh, dry eye, the mainstay is the lid hygiene. Uh, Short-term topical antibiotics like azithromycin can help. Uh, topical steroid in moderate to severe inflammation, and uh, systemic tetracycline 100 mg BID over four weeks then tapered. Lubricants, lubricating eye drops, the first one. What are the eye drops you know? The lubricant eye drops you know? So, patient is in front of you now. <clears throat> this is good. So, what are the preservative free lubricating eye drops you know? that we are on thermologists, we don't know what's up that we can. The friend is help her, please. She needs your help. What's that? What's that? Sorry, raise your voice. It's called hydrometalcellulose. It's like this. You mean carboxymethylcellulose? What do you mean? Okay. What else? I'm not sure if you think that's normal, that we don't know. The lubricant that we keep writing, the lubricants, the lubricant. We don't know what's the active material in the lubricants. And so uh, this is wrong. Could it be you know more? Or could you differentiate between the carboxymethylcellulose and sodium hydronate? Only will use this. What's the difference? Dr. Nancy mentioned that there was aqueous deficiency, there's evaporative aqueous we need to use lubricating agent. Do you know anything else that affects the most significant cellulose and smoking hierarchy? And that's easy. Uh, first, uh, we start with uh, sodium hierarchy, yes, which has LCM cases, which uh, most of the patients are comfortable with. Carboxic cellulose is the second option. We have hydroxy uh, propyl uh, cellulose also. Mm -hmm. And we have a mixture and combination between why you selected Artila? Do you have any financial interest? So why you selected Artila? By uh, population. So <laughs> you are keep mentioning this one. <laughs> So we need a scientific answer. So Artilac has 0.2% of sodium hyaluronate. Hyaluronate has 0.1. So Artilac is more lubricated. We can answer in scientific way, not uh, uh, yeah. The, there is one more agent. Khan, do you know? Or Ada? What's that? 
mineral oil for the ointment. Excellent. Mineral oil for the lubricant ointment, like the fresh BM and Duratiers. Excellent. For the for the drugs. Sustain alpha. Do you know what's the active material in sustain alpha? Is it sodium hyaluronate? Is it uh, carboxylic acidulose? What's that? Probably sustain. There is one. It's approximately as good as So what is it? Say. So why am I this question? Why am I asking this question? We feel this is basic. This is all of us feel this is basic. But when we go ask, nobody answer. Trust me, this is she in ER, in oral exam, in anywhere. This is your agent. We keep prescribing all of your relative calling you. And I'm sure more than 50% of your prescription are lubricant. And we don't know what's inside the lubricant. So we mentioned sodium hyaluronate. This is one, and this is the most important one, actually. Carboxymethyl cellulose, second. And polyethylene glycol. And this is the sustained alpha. Polyethylene glycol 400. This is the sustained alpha. So all of these agents, I need you, all of you, today, to read all of them, to know them by heart, to know the differences between each one, which one you will select. And if not, I will select Artilac, and that, that's it. No, you need to know why we'll select this agent, why we'll select this agent, without any uh, bias, I mean. We need a scientific answer. But, uh, I say thank you to bring uh, the dry eye issue. Uh, anything else? Any questions about the dry eye? Also the plugs, Dr. Omar mentioned also the plugs. The plugs, please don't place the plugs in blepharitis or if you have a patient with a blepharitis, if you plug the eye, you will keep all the inflamed and the debris in the eye, so it may induce more uh, irritation, more dry eye. So the plugs, whenever you have aqueous deficiency, not very well. Exposure keratopathy. It's a limitation of the eyelid closure leading to corneal injury, usually involving the lower third of the cornea, lagothalamus or apoptosis related. Uh, lagothalamus, either neurogenic disease or degenerative neurologic uh, condition or secretion or restrictive eyelid, uh, drug abuse, blepharoplasty, skin uh, disorders like Steven Johnson. Uh, proptosis is a thyroid eye disease, inflammatory orbital disease, or infiltrative orbital disease. Right. These are the conditions that possibly causing exposure hypertrophy. Uh, you manage by three tender line treatable cause. Uh, then lubricating drops and ointment at bedtime, uh, taping the eyelid at night if nocturnal exposure is the cause. Uh, in temporary cases, temporary surgery can be done if it's Permanent, you might use permanent surgery or gold, uh, plus or minus gold weight implants to help with the exposure cluster. Different entity now. Uh, I need someone to comment on the picture. So, this is a different cause of the eye how we're looking at the macular we're looking at coronary dystrophies. The way I'm describing the coronary dystrophies in this presentation is as the newest uh, classification, uh, which is epithelial, subepithelial coronary dystrophy, bone and layer coronary dystrophy, stroma, which is divided into uh, endothelial coronary dystrophies. Uh, I will mention only in the most common and most important parts or types. So it starts with the epithelial based membrane dystrophy. It's a sporadic unknown genetics. Six to 18 percent of the population have it. More in females increase over uh, in over 50. Uh, abnormalities of the epithelium, uh, epithelial turnover, maturation, and base membrane production. Uh, the symptoms, they, they have blurring of vision, pain, and the management is 
depending on the symptom, re recurrent erosion, you will treat it with lubrication cyclopedia, 5% sodium chloride, and debridement. Uh, if it's very good vision, debridement mechanically or PCK. Uh, maybe better within the epithelial basin membrane dystrophy. Uh, the other one is Meesman epithelial coronary dystrophy. It's rare. And, you know, I don't think I've ever seen it in the work clinic. Uh, it's an insomal dominant keratin K2, uh, 12Q13, and or uh, keratin K12, which is in the 17Q12. Uh, it's an epithelial microcyst consisting of degenerated epithelial cells cell production uh, products. Uh, and epithelial cells containing accumulation of granular and filamentary uh, material, uh, which they call as peculiar substance. Tiny bubble-like vesicles, best seen in, with retroillumination from limbus to limbus. Mild irritation, slight vision reduction, glare and recurrent erosions. Uh, most patients don't need treatment, but contact lens and lubricating might help with symptoms. Next is the bone corneal dystrophy. Uh, Mainly, we're talking about Reese Buckler and Till Becky. Uh, also, they are rare. Uh, Reese Buckler is a somal dominant TGFB1, uh, TGFBI 5Q31. Uh, Bowman layer is replaced by sheet like connective tissue with granular deposits. An electron microscope shows rod shaped bodies. Uh, difference between it and Till Becky is on the electron microscope, you will see a saw tooth pattern. Uh, coarse geographic irregular opacities of varying densities at the level of a Bowman layer and sub superficial stroma. Uh, recurrent erosions more severe and frequent than uh, tail bank. Uh, visual reduction due to irregularity and the tear scarring. Management is aimed for the recurrent erosion uh, conservatively or debridement. For rarely PK, PKP is needed in, in uh, race buckler and recurrence is common in, in the graft. Uh, I mentioned the differences between the uh, yeah, the race buckler and the type. Stromal coronary dystrophy is two types. They can TGFB1, uh, TGFBI 5Q31 related and non-TGFBI. The TGFBI are lattice, granular, and the granular two. Uh, non TGFBI are lattice 2 macular, Schneider, congenital stromal corneal dystrophy, flick corneal dystrophy, PACD, and PDCD. Uh, in the lattice, it's stromal dominant, TGFBI, uh, amyloid deposits concentrated in anterior stroma, glass like uh, branching lines in the stroma starting superficially spreads deeper right? and spare the peripheral cornea. Recurrent erosion is common, uh, decrease of vision due to stromal haze and the irregular surface. You manage, manage recurrent erosion by contact lens, lubrication and debridement as last result. For the vision, uh, you might uh, need to do DALC or PK, but recurrence is higher than other stromal dystrophies. Uh, lattice 2 is a systemic amyloid disease. It's an isomal dominant use, uh, with the gene of gilsolin. Uh, 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 as you said, the myeloid deposit can be seen in the conjunctival vascular cellular body, also in the arterial walls, peripheral nerves, and uh, glomerular uli. Uh, systemic amyloidosis with lattice uh, coronary dystrophy. It has a higher risk of open angle glaucoma and reduced coronary sensation and dry eyes. Granular 1, which is uh, at some dominant TGF uh, I, granular material is hyaline, non collagenous protein, superficial breadcrumb like opacities, sparing the limbus. Uh, most patients maintain good vision, may report with phobia, glare, and recurrent erosion. Treat management, again, recurrent erosion is the same. For vision, also you can do DELC and PKP, and uh, recurrence is uh, may, may occur differently than the primary uh, dystrophy, uh, which is uh, so sub-epithelial opacities in the recurrent uh, uh, graft. Type 2, which is a combination of lattice and granular. So you'll find both hyaline and amyloid uh, uh, deposits. 
the mineral deposits will be deeper uh, in, in, in the granular type 2. Uh, vision reduced later and the pain with mild coronary erosions. Management avoid PTK as it increases the PT opacification in granular type 2. And again, we can do DELT and PKP if vision is affected. Type non TGFB on uh, TGFBI uh, uh, stroma and coronary dystrophy is like macular dystrophy, which is CHST6 on the 16Q22. Deposits of glycose aminoglycans accumulate in the endoplasmic reticulum. Focal superficial uh, opacities that progress to involve the entire stroma and periphery with cloudiness between the opacities. So there is, as Dr. mentioned before, there is no uh, clear area. Uh, may involve the decimate and ethereum uh, seen as gutte. Uh, central corneal thinning and Hyposthesia can happen. Decrease in vision is between 10 and 30 years of age. Uh, there are three variants based on the bio biochemical differences. Uh, ELISA measures the sulfated keratin sulfate, which can help diagnose macular dystrophy even in, in preclinical and carrier forms. The management, the erosion, the same, and PKP. Uh, is better prognosis in macular because the rate of uh, recurrence is less. Schneider at some dominant UVI AD1, uh, accumulation of cholesterol and phospholipids in the epithelium bone layer and entire strong. Rare, slowly progressive, but predictable clinical changes. They will have central opacity, plus or minus subepithelial crystals in 50% uh, yeah, in, in patients younger than 23. Then dense corneal arcus in the third decade, the mid peripheral corneal opacification in fourth decade and decreased coin sensation. Uh, the management is with PKP in patients older than 50 because of the vision loss and assists the lipid profile for patients and the family members because they have tendency to have high lipid profile, uh, systemic lipid profile. Now, in the dystrophies, folks in the dystrophy, some are some are dominant, but most are sporadic. Uh, microsper microscopic increment in the endothelial size uh, and more uh, polymorphic than normal and dis disrupted by uh, excrescence, excrescences uh, of excess collagen. Gutte is thickened, decimate, and false. Uh, stromal edema, epithelial edema, epithelial bully, and then at the end, some epithelial fibrosis. How they, how they uh, progress? Management. Conservative by sodium chloride 5% and lower the IOP, which can in total help with the edema. If it does not reach the point that this it does not improve on conservative treatment, we go for endothelial keratoplasty or PKP, depending on the corneal scarring. If there is anterior stroma and corneal scarring, we'll, we, endothelial keratoplasty might not be enough. Posterior polymorphous corneal dystrophy, it's a stromal dominant, it depends had the uh, PPCD1, PPCD2, PPCD3, had the uh, genes that he has been recognized. It's a multi layered endothelial cells behaving like epithelial cells. Uh, distance membrane thickening and endothelial polymegathism in confocal uh, uh, microscopy. Uh, group, you will see it as group physicals, geographic gray lesions, broad bands with scalloped edges. 14% of patients will have elevated IOP. Uh, management, most patients are asymptomatic. Mild coronary edema may be treated conservatively. Uh, in advanced cases, glaucoma must be managed and PKP or endothelial keratoplasty might be needed depending on the corneal scars and the edema. CHID, uh, as you know, CHID1 is not considered part of the endothelial dystrophy, so CHID2 is the CHID now. It's an ensemble recessive SLC4A11 on the 20P13. Atrophy and degeneration of endothelial cells along the thickening uh, of, decimate, of the decimate membrane. Congenital stationary diffuse haze with focal gray, gray spots. Uh, they will have thickening of the cornea, blurred vision, and nystagmus. This is the one that happens from, uh, from birth, so we expect poor vision. Corneal transplant at early age is important to prevent deep epithelia. Plus the dull part. Are you a question? Any question?
udah jauh ya. Oke. Okay. Tai. J. What's the sign? Okay. Like, hi. What do you see? Irregular points. What what's wrong? What is abnormal? Okay, fear is still in here. Okay, fear is still in here. Okay, fear is still in here. I need to come back to the key map. No, I'm not the key map. Hell in numbers, I'm not the key map. I'm not the key map. I'm not the key map. It's very clear. Maybe she needs lazy. And the studio presentation map is Huh? ايوه 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 اوكي طيب هنا ما في من الارقام شيء واضح هذا كم؟ 4 5 فاصلة 4 5 ونص 3 5 ونص حتى 48 طيب يعني اوكي نرجع هذا من يقول لي من بيشوف هذه؟ اي ار فور من ار فور لا 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 طيب واضح انه واضح انكم واضح 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 واضح
So briefly, we'll be talking about Kratos one in 2000, positive family history in 68%, uh, combined genetic and environmental risk factors. Hysterically, there is a Bowman layer fragmentation, thinning of stroma and epithelium, breaks in the distant membrane and scar, uh, steepening, irregular stigmatism, thinning over the cone. Tomography has a major role in diagnosis and management of uh, of cryptoconus. Uh, 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 in the management, you manage progression, you manage vision, and the third entity is the hydrox when it happens. So progression, you need to do cross-linking. As long as the uh, biscorrective vision equity is good, you do cross-linking. Vision, it's a stepwise management. Glasses, soft contact lens, hard contact lens, rings if possible, uh, ICL if stable and possible, then go for the keratoplastic, either dark or PKP depending on the situation. Hydros, if a hydros develop, treatment is 5% uh, sodium chloride for uh, uh, contact lens, psychoplegia, echo suppression, plus or minus air injection in the intracameral. Uh, there is reports that air injection will reduce the time frame that high drops will take until it heals. In the polluted margin degeneration, it's an uncommon, non hereditary, non inflammatory, unknown etiology. The differences between uh, from the catechomonas, the thinnest location is minimally dis displaced from the center and over the cone. The producing margin generation, the thinnest location, largely the state of the center and inferior to the cone or superior to the cone in some cases, but mainly inferior to the cone. Uh, <laughs> Management, if there is progression, we'll do cross linking. Vision, again, stepwise, cratoplasty should be larger to include the area of the thin location. Uh, which makes it more prone to rejection compared to keratoconus. Uh, high drops has been reported for for uh, margin degeneration. Will treat it the same as keratoconus. Keratoglobus also very rare, non-inflammatory, non-hereditary, present at birth. Uh, strongly associated with the blue sclera and earlier than loss four type four. Uh, there is absence of woman, uh, thin stroma and this uh, thin stroma and the distance also thin. The management is treat high myopia with glasses to prevent the embryobia because they present at early age, if not, they will have embryobia if not treated. Uh, Sclerer contact lens may, may, might benefit them more than normal contact lens because of how large the globe is and it will put some pressure so it will keep it, uh, give it clearer uh, vision. Penetrating keratoplasty has a poor prognosis poorer prognosis than uh, keratoconus and technically way more difficult, more challenging than keratoconus. Uh, spontaneous rupture has been reported, so protective eyewear should be uh, instructed or uh, uh, told the patient uh, as it's very important. Uh, there is this.
So basically, it's going to size the graph. Yeah, the graph see. is uh, very large in size, mm -hmm. the numbers, mm -hmm. and there is clear uh, bristles reaching the edges of the graph. What else? It's large. There are there are vascularization. So what else? And the Is it central? Is it central the graph? No. It's not central at all, actually. Yeah. So you don't think this is maybe oh maybe because they're beautiful graph or something. Mm -hmm. So it's huge, huge and it's maybe it made toward the temporal side or the middle side because to take the apology with it and maybe there was a thinning there. Okay, so we could add this line, huh? and bit of edema here, capacity, red vessels over the temporal side in a large graft. Okay, so we're talking about the graft rejection. It's a mu reaction, T cell mediated, to allograft antigens, the minor H antigen in the endothelial, reje uh, in the endothelial rejection. It rarely occurs in the first month and can happen as late as the 20 years. If recognized early and treated, does not lead to graft failure. Forms of rejection are four. Epithelial rejection happens 10%. Uh, it's an elevated linear epithelial ridge advancing centripetally uh, and seen early postoperatively. Subepithelial rejection, uh, which is which present as subepithelial infiltrate. Uh, stroma rejection, stromal infiltrate, new vascularization, uh, or, uh, or keratolysis at the graft and host junction. Uh, in the three rejection, which is the most common and most severe, and it's the one that affects the endothelium. Uh, inflammatory uh, infiltrates, AC reaction, stromal, and epithelial edema. This is what you, you would expect to see. So risk factors for graft rejection is New vascularization, as we saw, loose sutures, infection, eccentric or large graft, as ours, and history of rejection. You manage by topical steroids, Q1 hourly, and taper according to response, periocular injection of steroid for severe rejection or and in uh, non compliant patients. Systemic steroid can be used in, in fulminant case. Topical sacrosporin can be used. Uh, in high risk cases to prevent the rejection. Okay. okay. Early on, we'll know. Suddenly develops trauma edema. Is there any infection, infectious related, uh, stromal keratitis, it might be a stromal uh, rejection, yeah. But, I mean, So you're thinking of, huh? Is my hand? Hand is more sensitive. Okay. I want to test. Bye. But at, uh, yeah, you were thinking of uh, MMP or mucous membrane pemphigoid or pseudo MMP. Uh, what are the pseudo MMPs? So, mucus membrane pemphigoid. It's a cytotoxic hypersensitivity type 2. Autoantibodies directed against cell surface antigen, uh, possibly bolus pemphigoid antigen 2, in the basement membrane zones. Uh, and it with the steroid you get out. Uh, possibly bullous pemphigoid antigen 2, then uh, 
هذا اللي بي ثينك انه وات از تارجتد بس نوت شور يت لو ات برايمرلي افكت كونجكتايفا ات افكتس ذا ماوس اور فارينكس جينيتاليا اند انس 15% of the cases also have skin involvement. Uh, that's why one of the early signs is difficulty in swallowing. Two to one female to male uh, ratio, older than 60%, difficulty swallowing may be early sign. Uh, stages are first stage is sub epithelial fibrosis, then shortening of the furnaces, then simpliferon, then ocular motility restriction. Diagnosis. Clinically plus uh, biopsy. Biopsy is from active conjunctiva sent for direct immunofluorescent or immunoperoxidase uh, staining, which will show C3, IgG, IgM, IgA in the basal membrane uh, zone. To manage, uh, first supportive uh, therapy with lubrication of pumped effusion for active episode, systemic steroid can be initiated, one milligram per kg per day to suppress the inflammation acutely. Uh, low risk patients are those with oral mucosa and skin involvement only and uh, have low risk of, uh, to scar. Okay, so in those patients, you start with Dapson, uh, but rule out G6PD first and self allergy. Uh, for high risk patients, those you expect to scar, uh, cyclophosphamide 1.5 to 2 milligram per kg per day or methotrexate can be used. In refractile cases, not responding to the medications, uh, biologic agents like rituximab, barofluximab, or etanercept uh, can be used. Surgical intervention uh, like fornix reconstruction or graft surgery should be only initiated after controlling the disease for extended period. Otherwise, uh, the surgery will reduce risk carrying. Uh, standard PKP has a good prognosis and Boston KPRO had some success. So sometimes people will think to go directly to Boston KPRO in, in such cases. So I'm against it. Bye. Last topic. It's sort of about how it's usually when you see it. You don't look at the cornea side only. You have to look at the side to make sure to put feeding vessels in the middle of the brain. And I think it's sort of about how many high bit expected. You need to look at the upper side and you find it up to one o'clock. I think it's a high level of water. What are we? Oh, it's in the other. So we don't share the screen. No. So all the same. I think it the article is already kind of uh, it's a spectrum of cancerous and precancerous epithelial lesion of the coronary conjunctiva. It includes 
dysplasia, conjunctival intraepithelial neoplasia, invasive squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, prevalence of OSSN varies from 0.03 to 1.9 per million population, uh, depending on the geographic location. CIN accounts for 39% of all pre-malignant and malignant lesions of the conjunctiva and 4% of all conjunctival lesions. Risk factor for OS of OSSN includes ultraviolet radiation exposure, ultraviolet B more than A, HPV 16, cigarette smoking, chemical injury of the ocular surface, vitamin A deficiency, DNA uh, repair deficits like in xeroderma pigmentosa, and HIV. The morphological classification is that nodular, placoid, or diffuse. Nodular grows rapidly higher as its metastasis to the lymph node. The placoid grow, uh, slower growing type, it can be gelatinous, leukoplicic, or papilliform. The diffuse is least common and uh, presents earlier as persistent conjunctival redness. Uh, symptoms uh, are foreign body sensation, redness, burning sensation, vision affected uh, if it reaches the, toward the uh, center of the cornea. Clinical findings are fleshy or nodular elevated keratinized uh, feeding vessels and secondary inflammation. Corner lesions are ground glass sheet appearance and uh, avascular defined border uh, spreading in arc way from the limbs. Right. The most difficult to recognize in the OSSN is the corneal uh, lesions rather than the conjunctival lesions. Conjunctival lesions are usually easy. Type the nodular, a placoid, and the diffuse here. Okay. Type diagnosis. Uh, clinical diagnosis is the mainstay, and treatment is started without laboratory confirmation. Rosman gas staining is a good indicator of high possibility of OSSN uh, in suspicious cases, such as in diffuse type histopathologically, histopathologically examination following excision and biopsy or incision and biopsy, considered gold standard providing definitive diagnosis. Uh, impression psychology is simple and non-invasive diagnostic tool. Confocal microscopy can be used in diagnosis, creating dysplasia and assessing invasion lesions. High resolution NCT is good at detecting epithelial changes and differentiating epithelial, epithelial from sub-epithelial uh, lesions, as well as good tool for following patients on topical treatments. Uh, so to manage OSSN and the surgical versus non-surgical, uh, if this size of the legions is more than 8 millimeter or conjunctival involvement, more than 2 quadrant involvement, or the limbar involvement, more than 3 clock, prior, uh, clock, uh, clock hours, uh, go for the surgical treatment. What I mean is the shields uh, uh, way of therapy of in, in, in uh, OSSA. A surgical uh, technique it's called no touch technique excision with four millimeter clear margin and double throw cryotherapy. Listen, Cam, I surgery to go have an OSSN. You have to say it this way and exit all of these no touch technique, four millimeter clear margin, double throw cryotherapy. You do it starting with marking the lesion right here. So, and all the areas that they're going to excise. But then, excise the conjunctival side of the legion along the marked margin, removing the conjunctiva antenna. If the legion is adherent to the sclera, you will do partial thickness sclerectomy uh, with lamellar dissection under the involved sclera. Then, you divide the corneal epithelium. Uh, using absolute alcohol on sponge uh, held at the limbus for 60 seconds, then epithelium is scraped with 3 mm beyond the involved corneal epithelium. Even if there is no corneal epithelium, as long as it's at the limbus, 3 mm corneal epithelium adjacent to the limbus has to be, or adjacent to the conjunctival area, has to be scraped. Right? Then, 
we remove the conjunctiva, we remove the uh, corneal side. Now we do the double toe cryotherapy. Uh, so along the conjunctiva side, the probe is inserted under the edge of the conjunctiva. And elevated from the bare sclera, and cryo is done twice. Uh, on the limbus, cryo is done twice at each position. Intraoperative adjunctive therapy you can use mitomycin or uh, can be some some people would use AMT. A mitomycin, though some reports of reduction of recurrence of tumor using 0.02% for five minutes, uh, uh, reports of, of small studies and no RCT to compare is done. Uh, this should be considered in large, aggressive, and recurrent lesions due to the risk of scleromalacia from the mitomycin C. Uh, use of AMT to cover bare sclera helps revitalization and prevent disruption of the remaining conjunctiva. Also helps maintaining the low uh, the location uh, of current edges of the conjunctiva in case of further resection uh, for positive margin. Um, and instead of direct, we'll uh, will cover it with the AMT. Will help you always recognize where where the edge, uh, the margin hangik. Uh, will cover the bare sclera. New adjuvant therapy has been found to be effective measure and to reduce the occurrence of tumor post surgical resection. Large retrospective study by uh, Gala et al. found that the use of topical interferon for two months in cases of OSS and resection with positive surgical margins reduced the risk of recurrence uh, to the rate of negative surgical margin. Some studies have shown promising effects results from topical bifazizumab when combined uh, with Complication of surgical resection, infection, limbus stem cell deficiency, hyphema, anterior cyanic erythrocyclitis, especially from the cryotherapy, and recurrence. Up to 33% with negative surgical margins will have recurrence. Time medical management, the line we will go حق شيلد انترفيرون الفا 2 بي فيرست بارت 1994 باي ماسكن يوزنج توبيكال انترفيرون بينيفيشال افكت اوف انترفيرون الفا 2 بي از ان او سي سن تريتمنت هاز بين ريبورت اوف ميني اوثرز اند ديو تو ليز ليسر تكسيسيتي ات از كونسيدر ميديكال تريتمنت فيرست تشويس اوف ميديكال تريت مايتومايسن فيرست ديسكرايب باي فوكت بيري ان 1994 uh, efficacy has been confirmed with multiple reports of uh, use of uh, mitomycin and osicin, but higher side effects, hyperemia, discomfort, recurrent erosion, and limbus stem cell deficiency, so it made it not the first choice. Five of you by De Kaiser et al. first used in, uh, he's the first to use it as topical treatment for osicin. Efficacy of his treatment has been reported with great resolution. Side effects as keratitis, hyperemia, and recurrent erosion were noted. Anti-VGF has been used before surgery to reduce the size of the region and as a salt therapy. well studied, but it has small studies suggesting. Uh, antiviral in cases of refractive OSSN, PCR for HPV can be taken, in which Cedufavir uh, uh, has shown promising results. Radiotherapy it is only used as a salvaging measure for tumor with sclera invasion before inoculation. Uh, significant side effects noticed, uh, noted including coronal degeneration, secondary glaucoma, cataract, and severe dryness. PDT, uh, Barbazito et al. reported that they use PDT in treating conjunctivitis chemist tumor in three cases with complete repression. Damage PDT and no. When to go for surgery, when to go for a medical treatment, and I find this very helpful. It can limber involvement less than three clock hours and the maximum basal diameter uh, less than five millimeter surgical, 
الاكسجين از از ذا بيست اوبشن اذا من 3 تو 6 والبيز ماكسيمال سايز ماكسيمال ديمتر فروم 5 تو 15 يوز فيرست اميون ثيرابي اور اميون ريدكشن اذا كان مور ذا 15 مور ذا 6 اميون ريدكشن ان ليس ات بيكمز تو سمول ذن ميبي يو كان دو ذا سيرجري اف ذير از انفولمنت اور اوكيلر كوت ان ايميجينج think of oxygen plus lamellar sclerectomy plus uh, or keratectomy plus uh, cryotherapy. Uh, OSSN with intraocular invasion, inoculation, OSSN with the intra orbital extension, orbital excentration. Well, I think I'm happy. And I think Ahmed Abdul Aziz can you try to present it in you present rather than a discussion. Uh, في اشياء كثيره انا ما ذكرتها ممكن بعضها حتتطرق لها الدكتور مالك لانها موجوده في اغلب الاماكن اللي تقوم فيها انا حاولت اتطرق للاشياء الاشياء اللي مثلا يسالك عن باثولوجي معين يسالك عن الجينيتكس يسالك عن كذا حاولت اني دائما انها تكون مذكوره في في هذه uh, if you want i can give you the presentation to read it most of the other things اللي تحتاجونها موجوده في المفروض انها تكون موجوده ما اتوقع في شيء ناقص عن الاور برزنتيشن حقت زي ما قلت لكم يمكن الار فورس حتى يمكن الار ثري على حسب اللي بيجيكم اي ود انكريز اللي هو ريفراكتيف سيرجري كومبليكيشنز مينلي و جرافت فيرس هوست انا كنت ناوي حتى اضيف جرافت فيرس هوست بس يعني الوقت ما سافني صراحه خلاص خلي لك اياها هنا الله يعافيك الله يعافيك